first day of the 12 days of anime is in fact this day. I hope you're excited, I'm certainly excited. For today's moment of choice, I fear we should probably get the really obvious one out of the way. Now, hang on. I know that you know that I've already seen the entire uh, Attack on Titan series. I watched it when it first premiered. Um, this year, however, was the premiere of the English dub. And now that I've had a chance to look at the two versions together and compare them... Available now for free by clicking the annotation. I found that probably my favorite part about it is how they've gone back and they've revised the action scenes. What broke a lot of people's immersion when it first aired was uh, they know people would notice that certain clips, certain little bits and pieces, have, were reused uh, from previous episodes, previous moments. I mean, it was mainly to cut corners in terms of the budgets, trying to really try and make it last as long as possible because they knew that for the bigger moment they had planned later on, they didn't want to cut corners there. So instead, they cut corners in little smaller areas and. It added up and some people weren't a big fan of it. I didn't really notice it until a little of around the halfway mark. But now that they've got money, they've obviously become very popular, and they're raking in the dough now, they've gone back and they've actually corrected, not corrected, but they've made the scenes into what they were originally intended to be. A majority of the changes are very minor, things that you wouldn't really notice unless you're a huge Attack on Titan nerd like I am. For example, uh, episode five when Aaron's squad is going to, you know, ju they're jumping into action. In the original version, Aaron jumps and then it cuts to a close-up of his face and then it cuts to a clip of uh, him firing the cable from his waist and then they take off and that gets used pretty frequently throughout the show. But now in the revised version, there, there are no cutaways. It's all one smooth, flowing shot. Other moments, however, are much more noticeable, make a much bigger impact. For example, episode 12, when everyone is jumping in to try and save Gene, there's a moment where it looks like a Titan is jumping in and is about to eat him, but then it turns into like a still image and then it zooms in, like Windows Movie Maker or something, and then it cuts to a picture of Annie, and then it's like a bunch of dust shooting up from behind a building, and, and then yeah, Gene just, it shows him just getting away, like, you assume that, naturally, that Annie just kind of killed the Titan and saved him, but considering the show's action choreography up to that point, you're, you kinda, you're kinda used to actually seeing it play out. There's not a whole lot of... You, you've never had to make that connection before. You're not really sure what it is you're supposed to be seeing. So it broke the immersion a little bit, but now they've gone back and they've added, they had, there's an actual like extended clip that shows exactly what happened. could spend an hour talking about all the changes that they've made with a revised scene, but um, overall it just kind of adds up into a much more complete package now. Um, and it isn't exclusive just to the dub. You can watch the uh, original Japanese dialogue with these these new changes as well. These little, it, it wasn't any one particular moment, It was, but it was all new stuff. It was a bunch of new things adding together that kind of reignited the experience or reignited some of the excitement of originally watching it, which is tough to do. It's a, a big, a uh, big grand show like Attack on Titan. So um, that's that's our first one for, for the year. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what the other people participating have come up with. Um, I hope to see you again here tomorrow for my uh, next choice. Until then, bye-bye.